Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this trending text effect on DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So in order to do that effect, the very first thing you need to do is come to effects. Uh, under effects, bring a fusion composition. And let's go to fusion. So we have a media out and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, bring in this text plus node and just drag it like this. And on the text, I'm going to type in blur font and I'm going to change it to my favorite inter and black. So you have something like this as of now. Now we need to do a bit of keyframing to bring in that blur. So in order to do that, press the text plus and press shift spacebar and type in Gaussian blur. So now you can see it's so much blurry, you know, throughout the frame. You don't want that. You want to be blur in the beginning and in the end. So you need to do a keyframing on the blur. So you select the Gaussian blur. You come to the beginning of the frame and I'm going to make the strength to 0 0.5 and hit the keyframe. Then I'm going to come to like uh, frame 7. Then I'm going to decrease the blur all the way to zero. Now it's in focus. Now at the end, uh, let me go a few frames back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve. I'm going to hit a keyframe here. And towards the end, again, I'm going to enter the value 0.5. So now what you have is you have blur and now it's in focus and again it's blur. So you have this one but uh, you know at frame 0 uh, this is how it looks. So you can also keyframe the opacity. So for that what you have to do is select the text plus node and you come to shading and there is an opacity slider which you can keyframe. So what I'm going to do is in frame 0 I'm going to hit a uh, keyframe by pressing this diamond and I'm going to slide it all the way to zero and then one two three four on the fourth frame I'm going to leave it all the way to one and similarly in the end I want uh, the opacity slider to be all the way to zero and one two three four I will make it all the way to 1. So now if I hit play, this is how it looks. Now you can smoothen out the animations. You come to spline, you select Gaussian blur, select all and press S on your keyboard to make it, you know, more smooth. You can play with the slide like this to make it more easy on the curves. Also, you can select the opacity slider, select all and press S on the keyboard. You can save this effect. For that, what you can do is come to media pool and select the power bins. And if power bins doesn't show up, just click on these three dots and you can see show power bins. Power bins are very useful because anything that is here, you can utilize for all your projects. So suppose if I want to use this sound effect for my other projects I can just drag and drop it here and you can like rename it you know blur effect or whatever of that sort so next time you open a project you know you can just open the power bins you can just drag and drop and you know maybe you want to change what is happening here so you come to fusion come to text and maybe you want to type in something else so I'm gonna type in film making and just like that you have that same effect and you don't need to create all that again now i hope you guys learned something from this video uh, for those who don't know i'm finger i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button uh, that's pretty much it for this video if you guys have any questions or suggestions or any tutorials that you want to know uh, leave them in the comments i'll be happy to try them out and explain it to you that's pretty much it uh, for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.